Welcome back to another vlog. I am currently in Abu Dhabi at another amazing makeup artist's house. And this makeup artist, honestly, she's been my number one supporter since I started YouTube. She's always been mentioning me. And I started to follow her and I became a huge fan of her work. So finally, today is the day that we're going to do some work together. We're going to do something similar to like a makeup tutorial. And I just got here. She's actually setting up in the other room. But I have to show you her makeup room. This is in her actual house. Look. You walk in and like she has these cute setup like lights here and then she has the makeup set up for me and she has all her makeup products here and not only is she a makeup artist she's also a business owner of her own brand where she has beauty blenders, lashes, uh, brushes, just a whole makeup store of products which is super awesome and not only does, did she like how cute is this like I love the setup but she is so cute that as soon as I got here she has like a whole setup of goodies for us to have she has a famous Arabic tea here you can't go to an Arab house and not have tea it's like you have to and then she has all these yummy goodies this is like something I used to eat when I was growing up I know maybe you guys have tried it they're so good they have like chocolate in them and then just snacks and drinks and water and she made sandwiches it's it's a bit too much for two people but super sweet super hospitable that's something about the arabic culture that if you go over to someone's house even if it's for the first time even if it's for just a makeup look they're super hospitable super sweet so that's your lesson about arabic hospitality so i'm just waiting for oh and the makeup artist's name is iada you guys are going to meet her soon so i'm just waiting for it to set up and i'll see you when she gets here in a bit boom okay so i just realized that i'm so bad with names and i've been pronouncing the awesome makeup artist name super wrong her name i've been saying iada but it's actually actually aida I Sorry, Aida. Aida. No, it's okay. So you guys have to meet Aida. Hello, everyone. This is the awesome makeup artist. I've been following her for a while, and we met through Instagram. And I love her work. Address a lot of top common mistakes that people yeah. do with makeup. What you should do, what you shouldn't do. And in the process, we're gonna do like a really cute makeup look, and not something over the top because we, you guys have seen that. So natural, but not natural, like makeup natural. So. Yeah. Stay tuned, it's gonna be awesome. I'm super excited and we shall begin. So when you moisturize your face, just wait like for 30 seconds or 40 seconds and then apply the primer. Okay. So that you will give your skin um, time to absorb exactly. the product. And don't put too much. I know sometimes people do their makeup and they feel like it's super cakey. Yeah, and, and I they think they quickly like, they put like skin prep and foundation and exactly. everything's like on top. They don't give it and time. And they would to. say like we did everything, but still we don't get that flawless look. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. And the most important part: don't forget to moisturize under eye. Mm -hmm. so the next step is primer. To apply the primer, you need only this amount. Okay, so we will put it here. Mm -hmm just to control um, the oil of your skin and in the T-zone here and here so now we're gonna wait for like 20 seconds okay and then we're gonna start with I will start with the eyes first and then I will go with the foundation okay, okay? so we'll see you in 20 seconds so now we're going to start with the eyeshadow. Before you start your eyeshadow, you need to put um, a concealer or eyeshadow primer mm -hmm. so that you can get the colors of the eyeshadow. And so here also I get another question like why I don't get the exact color of the eyeshadow because you don't have that base, you know. Mm -hmm. So you need a clean base in order to build up your eyeshadow. Exactly. After priming your eyes. Mm -hmm. You need to set up with a powder. You can use like translucent powder just to get avoid of the lines, to get rid of all the lines and in order for your eyeshadow to be like more pigment and clear. 
We're gonna move to the eyeshadow. I will use this palette from Anastasia, my favorite, Ooh. and it's recommended. Okay, I will take this ginger, um, the transition color. Okay, so now when you will take your transition color, okay, make sure that you tap your brush in order to get rid of all the excess eyeshadow. And when you will put it, tap it, and then blend it. Don't put too much from the first time. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. and the same thing. Just tap it and then blend it. Are you using the same color or a different no, color? No, darker, a bit darker. It's called, um, it's called credit. Okay. We're gonna go today with bronze. On the same palette, I will take this uh, shimmer color. It's called Zen <laughs> with my finger. I like to use shimmer color with my finger. I feel it's more pigment. Yeah, everyone says finger with the shimmer. Yeah. Use your finger, the color shows much more. Even with the pressed uh, glitter. Mm -hmm. Same brush and blend everything again. This is a very easy look, by the way. Everyone can do it. There's only three eyeshadows, mm -hmm. and that's it. Now we can apply the eyelashes. Awesome. Okay, okay so we applied la the lashes on one side. And uh, we use Aida Beauty Lashes. She has her own lash line. Not only is she a makeup artist, but she's also a businesswoman. And look how awesome it is. You open it up and they're all mink lashes, which are like super duper awesome lashes. I love mink lashes. They look super natural, thick and pretty. And there's type A, type H, S and K. And K is the one we're using right now. And there's an applicator that you can put. And there's a mirror, which is so cute. It's and everything together. I love it. Because you deserve it. Yes. Good lashes, <laughs> good mood, because you deserve it. It's super so cute. the mood of makeup. Yeah, I'm going to leave all of Ida's uh, accounts in the description below. If you guys want to get the, these lashes, make sure you go check out her accounts and order them. Because honestly, the prices she has are so, like super worth it because mink lashes are super expensive and the prices she's putting are not that crazy so it's so worth it and i highly recommend them so i'm going to put them on you guys are going to see how they look on my eyes so when it comes to the eyelashes don't put the glue okay mm -hmm. don't put too much and don't put too little mm -hmm. just um in between in between exactly and just leave it for like 10 seconds before you apply it and when you apply it, just look down and stick the lashes in the middle of the eyes first and then go to the edges. Okay, look straight. Do you feel that it's no nope, or it's perfect. not comfortable or something? No. Yeah. It feels like I'm not wearing lashes. It's very, very light. light. Yeah. So I will be using this Makeup Forever palette. It's a foundation, concealer, corrector, contour, everything in mm -hmm. one palette, which is so recommended especially yeah. for the makeup artist. I've seen a lot of makeup artists yeah. use this. And it's easy to use, easy to blend also. Go with this color mm -hmm. to correct, um, for example, underneath the eye, the mouth, so that it will not, uh, you will not get like the uh, grayish foundation. Mm -hmm. If you have any, um, chikulum, Pigmentation, mm -hmm. uneven. Yeah, uneven skin. You can just put the oranges, um, the orange concealer. Sorry, and then blend it with the beauty blender. And this is my beauty blender as well. This is from her makeup line, Ida Beauty. Yeah, beauty blender. Oh, it feels so great. It's so soft, huh? Yeah, so soft. Okay, look up. Just tap it, don't uh, drag the beauty blender so that it will not absorb all the product. product. Okay. This is the technique of applying. 
okay? Mm -hmm. Just um, like this. As if you are painting the face. Don't worry, by blending with the beauty blender, it will all be like, you know. All come together. Yeah, exactly. Okay. It won't look okay cakey. Exactly. Okay. When you will apply your foundation, just go one side. Don't go like this, no. Mm -hmm. So that you can, you can have the even um, coverage. And then if you want like more coverage, you can build up um, the layers. Plus, if you want to know what shade of foundation um, suits you more, use the shades on this side. Don't mm -hmm. use it in your nose, don't use it in your hand, because it will not give you the right, um, okay. the right shade. So if you go to like a makeup store and you want exactly. to know what's your color Exactly, try it on. here. If it was like, if it blends, that means this is your shade. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna go with the highlight. Okay. So when it comes to highlight, you need, um, like you want to highlight the areas that you want in your face. Mm -hmm. For example, underneath your eye. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tip of your nose. Little in your forehead. here also the other side yeah right. all the shades that I've used it's from this palette the same one okay you want here the other side here and here Okay, your forehead looks cute, so <laughs> we don't need that much. Okay, here, little. Do you like to um, make my lips bigger? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you blend it, it will give you like a shadow as if you have like, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. This is the trick with the uh, contour. If you want bigger lips, make sure you contour the lips as well. And also, I love creamy blush. Me too. Yeah. They're so like dewy. I love it. Here. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Here. A heart. Yeah, I think it's it. Okay. Yeah. So cute. But it's a beautiful contouring. I love this, it's so cute. I don't think any makeup artist has showed so much love, <laughs> actual love on my face. I this love it. This is my signature, by the way. Really? <laughs> I love it, so cute. It comes to blending the contour. First of all, we're gonna blend uh, the contour mm -hmm. with a fluffy brush like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, make it like light blending so that you will not... And it will make a lot you want okay. you have to lightly blend everything so you don't remove most yeah, of the, the product the contour will be there yeah. look at that side you can see mm -hmm. and don't worry then after applying the, uh, the, the powder it will go, all go together but you know sometimes you can use not sometimes all the time you can use your uh, lip tint mm -hmm. as a blush mm -hmm. or your uh, even lipstick I will, I will blend the highlight by the beauty blender. Don't worry about the blush. I know that everyone knows. Focus on that. This phone call, call will be right back. And small area, it's better to blend it with the brushes, yeah. Okay. Okay. So the small areas we focus on using smaller brushes. Yeah. Do like this. Mm. And then I will go over it also with a uh, beauty blender. Yeah. And then we blend everything. Just tapping to make sure there is no line. On this side, or the other side of the beauty blender. Mm -hmm. And you can see how this the wow. uh, dewy, pretty, all coming together. Okay. 
we're gonna set underneath the eye. Where you set your underneath eye with the uh, powder, you need to take, um, to blend it, I mean, to get rid of all the lines. And don't look down. Mm -hmm. You can set it with a loose powder or a compact powder, it's up to you, but don't take too much. So now I'm gonna take my triangle makeup of sponge. This one is easy for you to do the baking. Wow, and can we make a note that this is Ida Beauty and it's her makeup brand. So elegant, I love it, and soft. Who doesn't love baking? Mm -hmm. You remember when we did the highlight? Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. As if you are setting up your highlight. Okay. Now we're gonna take brown eyeliner. It's L15 Brown Perfection Eyeliner. Um, NYS. Okay. Look up, up. Just to give you the, the look. Mm -hmm. Okay. And don't worry if it's not straight, that's fine because you're gonna blend it. I'm going to take a small blending brush, small fluffy blending brush like this. By the way, there's something you didn't mention. Mm -hmm. These brushes are uh, Ida Beauty uh, yeah. brushes and they're super cute. Look how cute they are. They're like baby pink. I love it. And they're, the brushes are actually really nice brushes. I and soft and they flawlessly apply the makeup. So good job on your Thank you. line. It's awesome. Is it normal that I feel shy when someone is talking about me? You, you're very humble. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> so we're gonna take the same transition shadow that we've, uh, we've used at the beginning. Mm -hmm. We would blend underneath the eye. And we'll track it up like this. Nice. And it's all coming together. I love it. And then we're gonna blend what we did here and connect it with the look up piece here and then drag it out. We're gonna use um, contour and blush from this palette from Makeup Forever. Use this shade, Sculpt. Okay. Okay. Tap and then blend. Tap, tap, blend. Tap, tap, blend. <laughs> Okay. Whenever you want, just build on it. Oh, okay. So when you guys are using the contour, make sure you don't put too much in the beginning yeah. and just keep building. Because it's always easier to build than to put so much in the room. Exactly. Now we'll take the blush, smile please. That you put too much or... Um, you want to make it less? Yeah, take the same uh, powder brush that you've used in the beginning and then just try to take any excess product that you want. Most of the makeup done, I'm going to come closer so you guys can see it. Ooh, super zoomed in. So most of the look is almost done, the eyes, everything. We're going to do the lips and we're going to surprise you. So we'll be back when we do the lips. Boom, the lipstick is done and I'm feeling it. What do you guys think? It's so nice. Uh, I the white film, mashallah. Thank you. Yeah, and it's weird for me to say that it looks nice because it's my face, but I, <laughs> I really like it. You look beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay, so now we're gonna set everything. Okay. Close your eyes. Put as much as you can. <laughs> Highlight palette from Ofra. Mm. It's such a nice look. I love it. It's bronze, dark, different. And Ida is such a great makeup artist. She did this that? in like super quick. And we're definitely going to do other looks. If you guys like the look, leave in the comments below. If you guys want me and Ida to work together, please leave in the comments below. I personally love her work. I'm a fan of her work. Thank so I'm work. definitely going to work. I enjoyed it a lot today. Me too. It was so much fun. And she's so talented. She did this look in like super fast. She didn't take like... I. That's talent. <laughs> if you can do like such a perfect look in such a short amount of time, that takes uh, years of practice and a lot of talent. 
So I, I love it. Thank you thank so you, much. Thank you, thank you, dear. Before I end my vlog, I always give shout outs. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's do it together. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, so this one, yeah. the first shout out goes to Sitra Jua. Yeah. Shout out to you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sh so much showing so much love. And the second shout out goes to Professionally Me. me. Not professionally. Fro with an F. Pro professionally Me. Love it. And the last shout out goes to Erica Layton. Thank you guys so much for subscribing, for watching my videos. Thank you. Hope you guys like this look. And if you did, leave in the comments below. If you guys want us to do more looks, leave in the comments below as well. If you like, subscribe, share, share with a friend. Check out, make sure you check out yes, all of yes. Ida's accounts in yeah. the description below. I'm gonna I'm leave them all good. there. On YouTube, uh, oh yes, <laughs> I forgot. You forgot. So Ida's on Instagram, she's on Snapchat. Yes. She's also on YouTube, so I'm gonna leave her. She's been posting on YouTube a few videos here and there, so you guys check out her videos on YouTube. But she's gonna start posting way more videos, so stay tuned, subscribe to her channel. Everything's gonna be in the description below, so check that out and check out her makeup products because they are super, super, super awesome. I personally just tried them and I love them. Like, good job, honestly. Thank you, thank you. Great makeup artist, great businesswoman. I had, a, I had so much fun. I love my look. Thank you so much. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Make sure you like, subscribe, share with a friend, and I will see you in the next vlog. I love you, I love you, I love you. Bye.